Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, welcome. I'm Tanya, doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages nine, six, and four. I am thrilled to tell you guys that I am now an affiliate for Evan Moore Publishers. And if you've been following my channel since the beginning, you know that we've been using Evan Moore since the very beginning three years ago. One of the reasons I really like Evan Moore Publishers is that they are almost always on grade level. Sometimes when you get workbooks, you can't really be sure of whether the work will be too advanced or too elementary for your child. But with Evan Moore, I find that their grading is really on point every single time. One of the ways that they do that is for some of their workbooks, they have them labeled by levels um, instead of by grades. So here you have level B, which is designed for anywhere from grades K through two. So depending upon whether you have an early reader or a later one, they still can do the workbook and it's perfectly appropriate for them. In today's video, I'll be talking about Evan Moore's Word Family Stories and Activities Level B. And although I'm an affiliate, I actually purchased this book myself before I ever became an affiliate. This book goes through 16 short vowel word families, and each word family includes a picture dictionary, an illustrated story, comprehension and vocabulary activities, as well as a word list slider, which my daughter really enjoys. When you open the book, you immediately see a table of contents, which illustrates the 16 different word families that are featured in this book, which include a lot of the common word families that your child will read, especially at this level of reading. The idea behind the book is that by learning to recognize familiar parts of the words, they rapidly increase their reading vocabulary. So, so here you can see lesson one is meet the ACK word family and they have this little word practice section where they have little pictures and the beginning is of words and then the child just writes ACK, the actual like word family in every single blank so that they learn how to read that. And then they have a little reading comprehension here where they have to read the sentence and put in the missing word. On the next page, there'll be a little story where the student gets to identify that word family in various different words. They say to underline it, we do a little coloring just for fun, and then my daughter reads it out loud to me. Here you have a little more reading comprehension where you have a fill in the blank sentence again, but they don't have to write the word here, they just get to fill in or check off what the actual answer will be. And then you have a little activity here, and this activity generally varies. So here you have circled the pictures, of things that belong in your backpack and they get to practice the word family sound again. Following that, you have a little more writing practice where they have very similar pictures from either the story or the very first page where you practice the act sound again. And then you have a bottom section where you fill in the sentence here. So there's a lot of reading practice packed in beyond just the word family and I really like that feature of this. So after those four activity pages, there is a slide and read page that is similar to this one. Here it's for the Ock family, but I'll go ahead and show you the one for the Ack family. So we cut out this little word list here and the slider and we also made two slits here so that the student can put the word list through and pull it up to then read whatever words they're seeing. So they'll read through and it just makes it a little bit more fun for them and they know that at the end of those four pages there's this fun little thing. I know that everybody likes to use workbooks in a different way and for us we just do one page of this a day. Sometimes we skip it because we have a lot of other language arts resources but she really enjoys this book and when she first started using it she was super enthusiastic about it and even now she likes it. Right now her reading level is a little bit ahead of these words so it gives her really good practice and she feels very accomplished as she does the book. Just to show you if we move ahead to another family you'll see here meet the ing word family. Again similarly you have this beginning section of filling in just the ing sound and then you have a little fill in the blank from a word box here. You have King on a Swing, a little rhyming story to read and underline the word family sections, a little reading comprehension, and then here what thing would a king sit on? And then you have writing the ing words from the picture and then you have some more completing the sentence and then a slide and read page. And just to point out the slide and read page are are faced with nothing so that there's no problem with cutting it out. You don't have to make copies or anything of this workbook. There is an answer key provided at the end of the book, though at this level I very much doubt that you would actually need to use it. It's faster probably to grade it on your own. We are saving all of our little um, sliders just for reading practice for later and that's another nice little feature of this book is that once you finish you have this whole little collection of, of phonics practice sliders. My favorite things about this workbook are that since every single section is formatted pretty much the same, my daughter can do it 
by herself at this point. We do read aloud the reading selection together and I check her answers, but she does not need instruction from me about how to do the sections. Another thing I really appreciate about this workbook is that every single section has this type of multiple choice test question, which gives her really good practice for standardized exams to come. Because regardless of how unschooly you are as a homeschooler, if your child does want to go to college one day, learning how to take a standardized exam is an important skill. Also, if you live in a jurisdiction that requires testing for homeschooling, this is a nice way of practicing that as you get up to that point of taking the end of the year exam. I really like this book. I plan on buying all the other Word Family books so that my younger daughter can practice as well. So who would I recommend Word Families for? Stories and activities. Basically, if you have a child who is learning to read but for whom Word Families and rhyming is not super inherent, it's not coming super easily, this is a really good book for them. I've had the experience now of having taught two children to read but in all honesty, my eldest taught himself to read and was a very strong reader early on. So for him, this type of book would not have been as useful as for my daughter, who is good at reading, who likes to read, but is not quite as confident with word families or words that she hasn't seen yet. She really appreciates this book because she has realized from it that when you see a particular collection of letters, you can just extrapolate that that's gonna be that sound. Somehow that concept wasn't as easy for her to grasp until we started this book and I've noticed her reading take leaps and bounds once we started this. So for that type of child this is a great great book and for somebody who likes to do their own work without you sitting over them this is a really good book for that too. Or for the busy parent who has lots of kids that they're teaching at once this does not switch activities every single day. It has a very orderly format so you really can tell your child can you do the next two pages and by the time you're a third of the way through the book or even a fourth of the way through the book your child should know sort of what's coming they'll understand that the first section I'm gonna write this word family every single time and then read the word here I'm gonna choose from the word bank etc so that was my review you guys of Evan Moore's word family level B stories and activities if you guys are interested in purchasing this my affiliate link is listed in the description box down below and you can always go to evanmore.com to see their whole host of offerings Evan Moore now sells homeschool bundles so you can go ahead and check out my link down below for that as well if you're interested in purchasing materials for the entire grade level. As always you guys I appreciate your time and I wish you the very best day.